Welcome Capricorn. We're going to be looking at what it is that Spirit would like to give you guidance about using postcards from Spirit, Grace cards and Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, let's go. One card for Capricorn, please. One card for Capricorn, please. Here we go. Just like that. Capricorn. What have we got here? Dearest you. Selfless giving is an elixir. Elixir? So sweet and life-giving and amazing that it should be customary for everyday living. Right now, generosity is being asked of you. Let go of a debt, release an obligation, or do a solid kindness to someone for no other reason than as an exercise of the heart. You will be surprised how quickly a generous heart is repaid. We know it often doesn't happen in the immediate exchange, so temper your expectations. Know that life has an uncanny way of sending miracles seemingly unrelated to your kindness, yet interconnected in magical ways. The more you act from generosity, the bigger your heart grows and the more love and abundance you will experience. We also know that someone could be entering your life with a generous offer for you. Take it and trust you are worthy and deserving of it. You have to receive, not just give. We love you so much over here. Awesome. Okay, great. Pay it forward. I love this. I love, I love paying it forward. Okay. Okay. I really want to actually consciously do this. Okay, Capricorn. Three cards for Capricorn, please. Excellent. Just like that. Alrighty. So we have first card out is compassion. Next is anticipation. Third is strength. Okay, so be gentle with yourself. You are a magnificent soul. I have a feeling that some of you may be listening to this going, oh, I haven't really, am I not, am I not that nice? Am I not that kind and caring and compassionate and loving? Be gentle with yourself. You are a magnificent soul, right? This is also about, you know, having compassion for other people, right, allows you to have compassion for yourself. You know, this giving and receiving is an exchange. So in that regard, as much as you give, maybe some of you give too much. Maybe it's really about the flip side of it, of being open to receiving. So look at that. Look at that in your life and see if there's an equal balance, right, of the giving and receiving. And see where that needs to be balanced out if there's not. Okay. And, and when you do help someone or do something for someone, be aware of what's going on inside of you and make sure it's from a mutual place of not expecting anything back, just doing it because it's in your heart to do, okay? Letting go, got letting go and ordinariness, ordinariness and letting go here. It's sort of like there's this need to let go of something to allow peace to come into your life. I wonder if there's this, for some of you, something about letting go of oh, not control, maybe control, control of an outcome or an expectation of an outcome potentially. Letting go of resentments. Maybe some of you feel like there's something that has been unjust in your life and you didn't get what you deserved. And so you don't want to give because it's like, well, why should I? I didn't get what I deserved. Maybe that's something that needs to be let go of, potentially. Maybe you feel like you didn't deserve it. And that's why it didn't come to you. Maybe you feel like you deserve to be punished for some reason. 
Mm, courage. Having the courage, having the courage to see that the smallest of things can teach you the biggest lessons. And this could be so much as doing the smallest of things for someone will teach you the biggest lesson in your life. You know? It really will. I have the feeling that for some of you it's going to teach you how to love in a deeper way than what you've ever experienced. I feel like this is going to create a rebirth in your life somehow, which is going to be pretty intense here. Very intense, actually. More than you could ever know. More than you could imagine. And until it's done, it won't be experienced. And it could be the case that you actually have to practice doing things for people without the expectation of anything. And when you let go of the expectation of receiving something back, aha, that's what it is. It's about letting go of the expectation of receiving something back for doing something good. Once you can do that, because that's what compassion is, mutual state, a mutual state of being. Once you do that, boy oh boy are things going to change for you, big time. Anticipation, expect the best, the world is working in your favour. Expect the best. It's kind of like going into this general expectation in a sense. It's, it's interesting because I'm like, we're letting go of expectation here, but we're also expecting the best. But there's no expectation of what the best is. This is the thing, right? The best just is. Let's, oof, almost went on the floor. The best just is. Three more cards for this. Okay. Compromise. Compromise. <laughs> Look at this. These two here. Stubborn. Letting go of the stubbornness, right? Going into the silence here to release that. Right? Because there's this expectation of what the best looks like. And it's that expectation that needs to be let go of, this anticipation of what you're expecting back, instead of just allowing it to flow, right? This is about you growing in a way that is nurturing and loving without expectation in a natural way, a very natural way. And letting things happen in their own time. Nurturing. Nurturing a relationship. Nurturing yourself. Nurturing those around you. Without the expectation of receiving anything back. Doing it because that is what is in your heart to do. It is a natural, instinctual state of being. Getting yourself into that state. Giving it to yourself. First and foremost, giving it to yourself. Practicing on yourself. Some of you are going to the gym with the expectation of looking a certain way. Go to the gym purely to help yourself be healthy. Without expectation. Yeah? Master it. This is what a master would do, right? Be the master of this. 
And by doing that, you master your own life and how to walk through it from here on out. Okay, this is about being in this awareness of who you truly are, which ultimately Capricorn is the master. To step into this energy is to step into this compassion. Compassion for yourself and compassion for others. Strength. Face your fear. Every challenge is a blessing in disguise, a gift that makes us stronger, more conscious, and ultimately more alive. So this could also be compassion for someone that has done you wrong. Very, very tricky. It takes work, it takes healing, it takes self-compassion and self-love. Three more cards for Capricorn Flakes. Let me just get these in order before I get this last one. Alrighty, one more. One more card. Gosh, look at the time we've gone so fast. Picking up speed. Excellent. Okay. Hanging in the balance with this. You're like, yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know if I can have that compassion for someone who's done me wrong. But it's sort of like that's the bridge to making the connection for yourself, right? Making a connection with another potentially, right? It doesn't mean to say you put up with things that you shouldn't be tolerating. That's not to say that. Okay, but look at how you're traveling. Look at the journey that you're traveling where you're going, being conscious of the journey, being conscious of every step that you're making, not just traveling a journey with the expectation of reaching the destination, traveling the journey to experience the journey itself, right? Very important beyond illusion. Opening your eyes and seeing the transformation that is taking place, that can take place, if you allow yourself to step out of the cocoon and let your wings spread. Because there needs to be compassion for the transformation, right? When you have a caterpillar turn into a butterfly, the caterpillar has eaten a whole plant. Can they be forgiven for eating that plant which has helped them to create this transformation? Or are we going to hold it against the caterpillar for their entirety of their lifespan on earth as short as it is for eating the plant? Control. Holding on to a certain expectation gives us a sense of power and control. Right? Doing things for people out of the goodness of our own hearts, expecting that we'll receive something back, is control. It can also be manipulation as well. But I, you know, I don't think it's a conscious thing necessarily for a lot of people. Okay, so get creative with this. See how you can do this in different ways, yeah? Have fun with it. Enjoy it. And before you know it, you're doing it without a second thought. And you're doing it just because. And that's when the rebirth will happen. And that's when the transformation takes place, right? That's when we see beyond the illusion of our own selves and see the bigger picture of the world. Yeah? And you will have success. You will be successful in your own life. Okay? But when you do that, be mindful. If you find that you want to go and be like, oh my God, I did this thing for this person and I didn't have any attachment and blah, blah, blah. There's your ego coming into play. 
So be aware of the ego because the ego will absolutely be in there. Boots and all going, yeah, look at me. Look what I did. Ring up the radio station. Tell the world. But when it's from the heart and from a place of compassion and caring and genuine love, the ego doesn't come into it. Okay? So, Capricorn, let's have another read of your postcard from Spirit. Dearest you, selfless giving is an elixir. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but anyhow. So sweet and life-giving and amazing that it should be customary for everyday living. Right now, generosity is being asked of you. Let go of a debt, release an obligation, or do a solid kindness to someone for no other reason than as an exercise of the heart. You will be surprised how quickly a generous heart is repaid. We know it often doesn't happen in the immediate exchange, so temper your expectation. Know that life has an uncanny way of sending miracles seemingly unrelated to your kindness, yet interconnected in magical ways. The more you act from generosity, the bigger your heart grows and the more love and abundance you will experience. We also know that someone could be entering your life with a generous offer for you. Take it and trust you are worthy and deserving of it. You have to receive, not just give. We love you so much over here. Okay Capricorn, that is awesome. I am going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.